When Sydney recruited Kurt Tippett, there was plenty of debate. He was a high-priced recruit. Would he be worth it? Well, as Alistair Lynch tells us, the real value is just starting to shine through. I want to put in perspective how big Kurt Tippett is and how difficult it would be to play on him. In 2001, when we won our first premiership at the Brisbane Lions, I was 193 centimetres tall and weighed in at 102 kilos. That's a reasonable size for a full forward. Now, if we bring in Kurt Tippett, let's see what his measurements are. There we go. He stands at 202 centimetres and weighs in at 104 kilos. So that's nine centimetres taller and a couple of kilos heavier than I was. Now, if we look at his opponents from last weekend, Nathan Brown is seven centimetres shorter than Tippett. Two weeks before that, it was Troy Chaplin, seven centimetres shorter again. And before that, it was James Frawley, nine centimetres shorter. You get the picture. His stats since coming into the side in round 13 read like this. He's second in the AFL for goals, kicking 27-17. He's ranked second for contested marks with 17, and he's 11th for score involvements. Pretty impressive when we really weren't sure what we're gonna get. And he's only gonna get better. Just eight years ago, Tippett toured with the Brisbane Bullets basketball development squad to the USA, with an NBL career very much on the cards, before being identified by AFL Queensland and playing with the state under 18 team as a 19 year old. So Jace, it was a long wait for Kurt and the Swans, but the move sure is paying dividends now. It is Lynch, he's an imposing presence. The last genuine giant to play out of the goal square was Paul Salmon, if you remember. He was even a few centimetres taller and a few kegs heavier than Kerr Tibbet. But I think, Kingy, what the key defenders are now finding is it's very difficult to match up on a man that's built like a ruckman but plays like a genuine key forward. Oh, it is. It's incredibly difficult. You need that versatility, I think, as a, as a coaching group to get these sorts of players that you can move around. If it's not working forward, throw them into the ruck. That's why I think you know, the rough head style now where they can play actual on-ball roles gives them another angle, another avenue, key back. But Salmon was a star. We know that over 500 goals, over 300 games. Does, uh, does Tippett, is he in that same mould? Can he, can he play that volume well, of games? I think, um, he certainly can. He's very athletic. He's had a uh, late introduction into the, the sport. He's, uh, he hasn't really struggled with injuries. Obviously, he had his concussion issues early days. But I think he's the sort of athlete that, in time, like Fish, can go in and be a ruckman later in his career. Very athletic and durable. So I think he actually can do that. I've got to admit, I wasn't initially sure just where he would go. Um, in terms of, and how quickly he would go right. in terms of being that key forward presence for Sydney. But he, he has surprised me and he gives every indication he's going to keep going. But while his star's on the rise, Lynchy, mm. what's happening with Tom Hawkins? Now, this is a man that we know can play.